So I guess the best place to start would be uh, to taste the family reserve. Have you tried the family reserve before? I you? haven't, no. What we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be using a nosing glass. So the right. idea is it's a bit more narrow at the top and it concentrates the aromas here, making it easier to nose and tell apart the different flavours. So you might say that it's quite a sweet, rich whiskey. I can smell a bit of vanilla in there and slight spices, maybe a bit of uh, cinnamon in there. So you still get that sweetness yeah. and that rich body, but overall it's well balanced. Now one of the things we do usually is we add a bit of water. So I've got some spring water here. Adding a bit of water just opens up the flavours. Ideally what we would do is we would cover the glass. Then all the aromas build up here when you lift your hand. Hmm, much warmer, richer smell now, fruitier. Uh, what do you think would go well with the family reserve? I think it would go very well with a fish, in particular a salmon. I'll probably do a cure. Like so one. how are we going to cook this? Well, I'll make the cure. I use a mix of roughly two thirds sugar to one third salt. So now I'll just grate a little bit of the beetroot into there. This will give it a nice kind of earthy flavour. I like the idea of earthy flavours because yeah. our whisky is a blend of mostly Speyside whiskies, but we do use whiskies from pretty much all over Scotland, okay. including ones that can be quite smoky, quite earthy. So I think that will go quite nice with the family reserve. So now I'm just adding a tiny bit of whisky, about 30 mils, about one shot. Okay. So now I've got my cure mixed, mm -hmm. I'll get my salmon. So the curing process takes roughly 12 to 24 hours. Fortunately, I have some that I prepared yesterday, right. so we haven't got to wait that long. I'll give this a good rub and good mix. Wow, I'm getting loads of flavours here already. Yeah. The salmon down there, you can see it's nicely covered in the cure and the beetroot. Add a little bit more on top. Lovely. What you need to do is get a small weight, push it down on top, mm -hmm. and then possibly a couple of tin cans, and you mm -hmm. pop it back in the fridge and leave it. And what that does is presses down on it and forces the liquids out of the salmon. And I'll bring one out I prepared earlier. So now I'm gonna rinse the cure off the fish. Yeah. All the flavors have been absorbed now. So now what I'll do is uh, I'll slice it as thinly as I can and uh, we're ready to go. I've got some um, Chinese radish shoots. I'll have a little bit of honey and mustard dressing and I'll use a tiny bit of the reserved nice. beetroot juice from before. Time to taste? Yeah, it, it yes. looks fantastic. I'm not, not sure I want fork. to destroy your presentation. Very what nice, very, very nice. And I think what would make it even better is, of course, a bit of grounds. Of course. Mm. It really works. You've got, you've got the fruit, you've got that root character that you get from the, the beetroot. And the salmon also is quite oily, so I think it, uh, it's a good idea to add a bit of water to the whiskey yeah, yeah. Uh, to enjoy it with this dish. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the recipe. Uh, it's so easy to make, and I hope you uh, have the opportunity to try it at home. Cheers. 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 If you'd like more information on Grant's Whiskey or the recipes, please visit our Facebook page.